While East St. Louis and Jabot will be going for state titles this weekend, the Metro East girls already did their work, and it was a historic championship season to say the least. As Oakville wins the Class 1A title, the Metro East owned Redbird Arena in Normal last weekend. First, the Oakville girls captured the Class 1A title, the program's first in 23 years. This community has been phenomenal when it comes to basketball, and just to be able to put our name in that group is unbelievable. Then the 2A Modern Day Knights won their first ever title. As for the first time in the history of the school, the Breeze Modern Day, State Anchored by a historic triple-double from sophomore Alyssa Kirkenmeyer. She was a monster. She was getting every rebound, getting every block. I heard the fan section, they were yelling triple-double, and I looked up at the big screen in the middle, and I saw it, and I was like, wow, I just did that. And finally, O'Fallon was also a first-time winner at Class 4A. And O'Fallon, your 2023 state champions in 4A. Yeah, the first team they had to do it, like, we leaving the mark. Everybody know who we are now. This team at O'Fallon will be remembered forever. There are only four levels of girls basketball in Illinois. Teams from our area won three of the championships up for grabs. Not too shabby. The Chicago area, you know, gets a lot of coverage, so we just want to make sure that our name gets out there. To do three in one day, um, that is something that probably will never be broken again. And while it's history now, the players are hoping to instill that passion for winning in the next generation of Southern Illinois Hoopers. I think it's really cool because like the little girls that are in the grade school right now will be able to look up to us and say, oh, I want to be like them when I grow up or something like that. Definitely a lot of talent to be proud of on the high school courts in the Metro East right now. Yeah, yeah it's so cool. cool. Congratulations to all of those young ladies. Corey, thanks.